the backstory on the, the uh, great snap ring adventure. I was trying to balance the wheels on my um, bandsaw here, very, very old bandsaw, and you can do it on the top wheel because the, uh, the bearing's really clean, still very good, so the wheel spins okay. But when I tried to do it down here on the bottom wheel, uh, I was having a lot of trouble because I'd spin it, but it would stop very quickly. So it was pretty obvious that the bearings are not um, nearly as good as the one on the top. So I had to uh, make up my mind I was going to pull this apart and take the bearings out and probably replace them. And that brings me over to this. I did pull the bearings, I did pull the shaft, I pulled the whole thing. And to do that I needed... Um, retaining ring or snap ring pliers. Now I've got a set right here. They're really cheapy things and I think um, Pittsburgh that sounds like a Harbor Freight. I don't know how long I've had these but because I don't use them very often uh, and it has interchangeable um, jaws on this thing. Turns out I had a heck of a time using these and I'll show you why in just a second here. I've got to change. Now for most of the time that I've needed to use these things, they've worked okay. Um, you can you can do inner and outer just by changing this around here like this. Push this little spring, pull that little thing like that, and then it'll come out. And you can remove this set put on another set right or you can put them on the other way so you can have an innie and an outie either way you can have them squeeze shut or you can have them squeeze open so that's pretty cool um, for a really cheap set and most of the time that works just fine and they come with uh, you know different different si uh, types of, uh, of pins but the problem is they're all the same size pins and that worked just fine as far as this big internal retainer because the holes are very large here so I could get that out using you know these cheap ones but the real problem came in the um, retainer rings here holding the bearings um, because the holes on these are tiny and nothing I had would fit in there and so because I'm frugal my wife says I'm cheap because I'm frugal and I didn't want to run down to the hardware store again I just tried to modify these <laughs> I just kind of ground them down until they were small enough to kind of go, and it took me quite a while to do it, to kind of go into these holes, right? So I got them to finally do it. But when the factory makes these, they're, they're very, uh, well, I should say much better done than when you grind these down by hand. So what would happen is, is I'm putting these things in here, granted that they would just barely go in the holes, they kept slipping out and I just almost couldn't get the thing out. You can see I finally did, but um, it's a good thing I decided I was going to change the bearings because one of the bearings I was trying to wedge uh, to get underneath the ring when I got it partly off and of course I messed the thing up. Now it was messed up already, but now it's completely useless so i've got these things on order uh, so i will change them out so bottom line on this is uh, in order to get this back together again without completely crashing up everything i went out and bought a new um, set and that's these the channel lock made here in the USA and where I went down to get these they had several different models of this different manufacturers of this but only one of this made in the USA channel lock and I'll have to tell you I'm pretty impressed and 
you should be because they're two to three times more expensive. I think uh, I got out of there about $30. $30. But uh, this particular set is just incredibly well thought out, incredibly well engineered because it comes with a whole bunch of different tips and they're small enough get this back here they're small enough that it goes right in that hole just beautiful right so for this one here which is a stretch I have to stretch this to get it over that shaft you can see it holds really really nicely and even more interesting if this could be something more interesting is in order to uh, make this an innie or an Audi stretcher you have to turn the thing over you have to pull the pull the unit off and put it on one side or put it on the other side now is that a big deal not really but nevertheless you still have to have three three different forms here whereas this one you actually change the tips and it comes with this little bitty Allen wrench so you can go down in here and remove the tip and put on a different type and there's several different types here a, a larger one which I'd use on this and then smaller ones which I'd use on this and in order to change this from an innie to an Audi there's a little lever on here, like that. Here it click. Now it goes the other way. When I let go of the handles, it goes open. When I squeeze the handles, it goes closed. So that's what I'm gonna have to use for this, is to make it go closed because this fits in the casing of the saw and it holds the outer edge of this bearing right so it's a real easy changeover just by clicking this over here you can see now it's the other way around very cool now is this worth thirty dollars well it is if uh, the uh, ten dollar one or the eight dollar one or whatever in the heck this was I don't remember uh, doesn't do the trick so this one converts from um, in to out, or what do they call it, external or internal, very quickly. And it comes with all of these units right here. And that's gonna let me put this thing back, back together again as soon as the new bearings come in. Um, sometimes you really do need to spend a little bit, bit of money um, those of you who have watched any of my other videos know um, we call this eclectic because I like to mess with a lot of stuff and you need a lot of tools and many times if you're only doing something once you can get away with a cheaper tool but sometimes in some instances you need to spend some bucks and uh, like I said I kind of choked on this it was about you know, thirty dollars I think um, but now I have a set that I can use much more professional and also made in the USA I like that so there's my little evaluation of channel lock retrain re retaining ring pliers 8 inch I guess that's the model number 927 these are just excellent I'll have these for a long time.